as you're introducing a change across your team, across your organization, your sector, division, vertical, perhaps the entire industry, it is really important to understand the current state of those who will be impacted by that change, their willingness to try something new, or their commitment to their current and existing environment. And in this process, it is extremely important to communicate and communicate in many different ways. Communication itself has to be at the very least bi-directional and multimodal. And what I mean by that, it can't just be from you as the person who's leading this change, one email to thousands of people and you call it a day, you check a box. Yes, that email needs to come out. I agree, absolutely. But it can't be the only one. And it can't be the only way you communicate. You have to figure out a way of, and provide opportunities in many different ways because folks respond to it differently. Someone wants anonymous form. I had a conversation with a colleague not that long ago who said, look, um, for me to really be honest and, and share all the information you're looking for your team to improve, I need that to be anonymous. And I know a lot of other people who are looking for the same opportunity. To me, I generally say what I think at all times and I stand behind it. I'm going to my, sign my name below anything I've said and I'll own it. That doesn't mean that those who want to be anonymous are wrong. That's just their preference. That's their level of comfort. I'm not saying I'm better than they are or the other way around, but those are two different ways. So providing anonymous feedback, email, forms, video, social media, having face-to-face -face conversations, whether they're webinars or Zoom calls or in person, doing it with larger group of folks, doing it with small sections based on interests, based on areas, based on their location, right? And I'm gonna to go to these different centers, sit down with people, spend an hour or two and really listen and understand what they need and find a way of how do we incorporate those changes as, as, um, as we continue to grow, advance, improve, and get better in everything we do. So communication has to be bi-directional, cannot be only top-down, everybody has to have an opportunity to weigh in and speak, and then you have to look for different ways to share that feedback to capture it, to share it, to incorporate it, to then bring it back to some of these folks and say, hey, did I capture this right? Was I wrong? Did I miss anything? And if so, please fill in the gaps, fill in the blanks. Just wanted to take a moment to share this because it keeps coming up across a number of different initiatives that I'm involved with, um, both professionally and, and, and personally, and I see it all the time. And this has been a thing for forever, since the beginning of time. Get people involved, include them, listen to what they have to say. Now, don't be afraid to make a decision. Don't be paralyzed by trying to please everyone at all times because that way you're not going to get anywhere. That way you're guaranteed to stay where you are and never move, which in some cases is not a bad thing depending on what it is. If you have something that works extremely well, does not need to be changed or disrupted in any way, leave it alone. Double down on it. But in many areas, you know, the only cons consistent thing is change. And everything around us is changing. So look for ways to communicate in at least bi-directional fashion or more than that, and absolutely in different multimodal capabilities because people receive and share information differently and they all matter as you shape and form your strategy as to how to proceed and how do you move forward. So have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. As always, if this is the first video you have ever seen, please uh, share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe below. And most importantly, leave your thoughts on the topic I've just covered. Have a great day.